10 tips to master Streamlit Cloud. Update on Comet. Every time you push changes to your repo, your app is going to be updated in the cloud. If you only change code, your Streamlit app is not going to restart, so it means no downtime. If you change or update any dependency, your Streamlit app is going to restart to reinstall those. Sometimes I'm so lazy that I will create a project on GitHub, not clone it, and implement my code directly in the browser. Minify your URL. If you're like me and you name your main file app.py, you're going to notice the name of the file in the URL, which is not something very pretty. Next time, call it streamit underscore app.py and then it won't appear in the URL of your app. Badge. We got readme badges. Put them in your readme, they look cool, and then we know your power of the community. Secrets. If you don't want to store your password in your file, which is a good idea, you can add them in the secrets parts of your configuration and reuse them in your scripts. And they are encrypted in the cloud, so nobody can steal those. Your sidebar has got lots of information about your streaming app, whether it has restarted, which packages it has installed correctly. If a package did not install, the error is going to be inside this sidebar. But did you know you could resize it? Look! Wow. Unix packages with apt-get, 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 I have no idea. If you need to install any Unix package like Java or libgl because the logs in the sidebar tell you to, then you can add them in packages.txt at the root of your project. To manage your dependencies, you're not required to use requirements.txt. I mean, if you prefer, you can use pipfile or pyproject.toml. But the neat thing is you can also use conda environment files, which means you can access any package from the Anaconda cloud. There's a lot of Python packages, but also not very Python packages, like Gecko Driver if you're into web scrapping. So don't hesitate to look into this. When you're starting a new app, you can change the Python version you want to use inside the configuration. You can star any of your apps so it gets to the top of the list. And my last tip for you is like and subscribe for more. It means a lot and thank you very much. Happy streaming. Is it Selenium? Let me check. I'm not even sure. <laughs> Wait, um, I used to do Selenium. I should have checked before making this video, right?